Namaste and good afternoon. Greetings from all of us at Apollo Hospitals. This is Dr. Srinidhi Chidambaram and I'm very happy to see you all again. Apollo Hospitals, as you know, has always been at the forefront in creating health awareness. And with our Facebook live sessions, we have been bringing you information on diseases, path-breaking treatments, latest technologies and medical innovations so that you can be aware and prevent and tackle diseases that are hindering your good health. We're also delighted to bring you seasonal and trending health information so that you are well armed with knowledge. Many parts of our country are now going through winter and you must know all about the health effects of winter. Normally we just think about the effects of winter on our skin or maybe on the way that we might have an exacerbation of our respiratory symptoms or cough and cold. But we must also be aware that cold weather, extreme weathers can affect even the vital organs such as the heart and also the lungs in many ways. It's really just all about how our body reacts to the cold. The body's first reaction will be to keep the temperature optimal and try to keep warm so blood vessels do get constricted or narrowed to keep in the heat. The heart also needs to beat faster, which can increase the blood pressure. And for people with underlying heart disease, this could uh, mean this extra effort by the body to keep warm could mean uh, compromise to the function of the heart. It can lead to chest pain or even a heart attack. So it's very important to discuss your exercise guidelines and what precautions you need to take with your physician, especially if you have pre-existing heart diseases. Cold air will also impact your breathing, especially if you have lung diseases, and they can trigger spasms in the lung as well. So we are now today going to discuss this a largely unknown and very, very important topic of the effect of winter and cold weather on the heart and on the lungs. To discuss this, I am delighted and very happy to welcome Dr. Dinesh Reddy, consultant pulmonologist, Apollo Hospitals. Dr. Dinesh Reddy has an experience of over 10 years in this field. He practices at Apollo Hospital in Secunderabad. He completed his MBBS from the Chalmeda Anand Rao Institute of Medical Sciences, Karim Nagar in 2009, and did his MD in pulmonary medicine from the SBKS Medical Institute and Research Center, Vadodara in 2012. Dr. Dinesh specializes in lung surgery, lower upper respiratory tract infection management, and many procedures such as bullectomy, lobectomy, pneumonectomy, etc. He is a member of the Indian Medical Association, Telangana, State Medical Council, and ERS Lung India. Welcome, Dr. Dinesh Reddy. Thank you so much for joining us today on this session. And we look forward to hearing your views on how cold weather can impact our vital organs. Over to you. Uh, good afternoon to all. Uh, thanks for giving me the opportunity. Uh, coming to the topic, uh, the impact of cold weather on the lungs and heart. Uh, basically, uh, for the cold uh, climates, uh, the uh, individuals who are more prone to respiratory conditions like asthma, COPD, bronchitis, chronic bronchitis individuals, they are more prone to this cold weather induced attacks in the lung. Uh, they, this cold weather might trigger bronch uh, may cause bronchospasms in these individuals, leading to symptoms like as cough, breathe breathlessness, wheezing, chest tightness. They might have exacerbations of the asthma, the COPD. Uh, they should identify this uh, uh, this cold weather uh, in this cold, cold, cold climate. They should be more uh, uh, like active and they should uh, react to it like uh, have, uh, taking proper symptomatic relief like bronchodilators, inhalers, whatever they're using. They should use it at prompt time and they should prevent themselves uh, by getting exposure to such cold climates or cold temperatures by covering with a scarf or mask so that the air which is re reaching to the lungs might be warmer, which prevent the spasm, uh, these spasmodic episodes. 
Uh, so, doctor, first uh, we will discuss a bit about the heart because at least the lungs. Many people know that you know, like you should not, you should cover yourself, but not many know that you know the winter affects the heart as well in people with heart diseases. So, could you tell us a little more about uh, how does the cold weather affect the heart? Coming to the impact on the heart, uh, the body tries to keep warm. So for that, uh, it should uh, the heart uh, heart reacts in a way like there'll be peripheral vasoconstriction. So the heart beat uh, will be faster. There'll be increase in the blood pressure, which might uh, lead to any uh, plaque ruptures, which might lead to the heart attacks like this in this cold climates. Yeah. So I it's like epidemic, uh, data suggests that there is more uh, individuals are more prone to heart heart attacks in the early morning winters mm -hmm. compared to summers. So there's like proven data showing that because uh, the increased blood pressure and heart rate might uh, lead to a plate ruptures that might cause an MI or heart attack. So there is an increase in the risk of heart attacks as well. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what what should somebody like is is this prone to happen to even normal people or to people with pre-existing heart conditions are likely to be at more risk? Yeah, with pre-existing heart conditions are more likely to risk. It's even it can uh, uh, affect normal people uh, when there is like more of a, a plaque rupture happens. It can happen to a normal individual also when they're exposed to more cold, extreme cold climates. Because the body's first reaction is to keep itself warm. For that, the heart uh, tries to react by beating faster. There might be fluctuations of blood pressure, the blood viscosity. There may there might be blood thickening. The blood uh, ruptures might plaque ruptures might happen, leading to a heart attack. Chest pain, anginas. Yeah. So normally, when people have uh, uh, recovered, or generally also, we tell people that you need to exercise. So you can exercise indoors or outdoors uh, at any weather. We are all supposed to have a daily quota of walking or any other exercise. And even for people who have heart problems or diabetes or obesity, they are advised to exercise. But what happens is that uh, in uh, winters, uh, people uh, sometimes overdo the exercise. They go out in the cold weather or early morning walk and things like that. So what advice would you give for people uh, who are at some kind of a risk? What kind of exercise should they do in cold weather? Yeah, uh, cold weather impact from exercise. Um, uh, individuals who are asthmatic, who are having uh, respiratory conditions are more prone to the symptoms compared to the normal individuals. Uh, they might have the bronchospasm attacks more frequently compared to normal individuals. So whenever uh, if, if an asthmatic individual in this cold climates, they should be very careful in uh, when they are uh, performing their exercises. They should have their inhalers in handy and they should uh, use inhalers before the workout or before exercise and better to uh, uh, not to do severe strenuous exercises. Like preferably stay active indoors. Uh, using inhalers appropriately at uh, uh, regular intervals and also prevent these uh, bronchospasmic attacks and preventing from the asthma attacks. Yeah. And what about people with heart disorders? Should they go out for morning walks or should they preferably uh, work out indoors or should they just uh, do some stretches and warm up and just leave it at that? Yeah, even uh, people with the heart, tail, heart disorders they're also like more prone to develop the symptoms of breathlessness, these all things. Uh, in, in individuals with pulmonary hypertension, they are more prone to breathlessness with exercise, exertion, because the low oxygen levels lead to uh, pulmonary vasoconstriction, which might further aggravate the symptoms. So it's better uh, to be careful in these cold climates uh, to avoid any strenuous exercise, preferably stay active indoor and use optimized, medica optimized medication regarding their uh, in, uh, conditions what they are. Right. Um, so apart from the fact that exercise and cold weather can affect uh, the heart, uh, is there any, any further link with this hypothermia with other organs in the body apart from the heart and the lungs? Yeah, in the hypothermia, uh, the body's first reaction will be like to keep uh, body warmer. Uh, the major vital organs like 
uh, there should be a cap bomb. So the heart tries to uh, there will be peripheral vasoconstriction. So to prevent the bomb, uh, to prevent the uh, loss of temperature, there will be peripheral vasoconstriction so that the body keeps warm. And even for in, in, as a reaction for that, the heart tends to beat faster. There will be a, a increase in the blood pressure to keep other vital organs warm. Then the blood pressure increases, so the blood flow, the blood circulation uh, gets better. Uh, yeah, this is the like uh, they should be uh, maintained properly in hypothermia. Uh, the blood circulation, these all things might aggravate. The blood pressure might aggravate, leading to various uh, conditions. Right. Is there a possibility that the increase in blood pressure or a rupture can also lead to a stroke? Yeah, definitely, definitely. When there is increase in the blood pressure, the plaque, the plaque rupture may cause leading to chest pain, angina, heart attack, even a stroke. Yeah, there are high chances. The high chances in, uh, which can be uh, aggravated by the cold climate. So, uh, what should a person uh, who is exposed to cold weather? What are the early warning signs? You know, which means that that person may be going through a major. Uh, complication and you know one has to seek emergency help so what will be the uh, earliest warning signs of either uh, any of the vital organs being affected uh, signs will be like there might be signs of bronchospasm severe breathlessness wheezing there might be chest heaviness there might be chest pain cough followed by severe wheezing breathlessness chest pain these all are the alarming things and these symptoms are more prone to individuals like respiratory conditions who are asthmatic, who are COPD, who is hypertensive. These are all more, these symptoms are more prone in these individuals. They should be very, very careful enough and find out these uh, alarming signs whenever they have and better to consult the emergency or physician as it is possible if they face any of these things. Right. Uh, is there uh, uh, also uh, a link between the COPD or asthma and heart? So if somebody, apart from the cold weather, uh, are people with kind of, uh, can one lead to the other kind of situation? Yeah. Uh, in patients with COPD who are in uh, severe stages where the blood oxygen levels will be on the lower side, those, those patients are more prone to pulmonary hypertension leading to light, right heart failure. So these are these individuals are very very prone to heart uh, right heart failure, which might lead further aggravate the symptoms. So they should be made. Uh, these uh, patients with COPD or asthma leading to core pulmonary pulmonary hypertension should be more careful and should be more. Uh, uh, they should find out the symptoms, the alarming symptoms, and they should visit the clinician as early as as possible. So is there anything else that you would like? our viewers to know about precautions to take in the cold weather. Yeah. Uh, concerning the patients who are asthmatics, better not to do strenuous exercises in these cold weathers, but preferably stay active indoor. And infections in cold weather, infection also more prone to develop influenza attacks, which can also trigger or uh, alarm the asthmatic symptoms. So they should be more prone in preventing infections, preferably staying active indoor. Even if they're using, if they're doing workout or exercise, better take inhalers in appropriate time and visit with the concept with the clinician in a regular intervals regarding their day-to-day -day activities. Inform to the doctor regarding the day-to-day -day activities and preventing any infections like as uh, in, as I told you, influenza, viral infections are more prone in these cold climates because the susceptibility of transmission will be more higher in the cold climates and the, in, uh, the survival of the virus also will be longer in the, in the cold climates. So prevention of any infection in these respiratory uh, condition patients is very, very important so that it will prevent any other symptomatic alarming events. So thank you, Dr. Dinesh Reddy for this wonderful discussion. So viewers, I hope you found the session informative and so please stay care during the winter do not ignore warning symptoms stay well and always seek medical advice especially those who already have respiratory or heart disorders please do take medical advice before you venture out doing heavy physical work or exercise in the cold weather enjoy the season without anxiety and do please continue to subscribe to our youtube channel to get all the latest information on trending healthcare topics 
If you have more queries, you know where to reach us. And we are also always available on both our website and social media channels to assist you at any time, anywhere. So till the next time, goodbye and see you all soon. Thank you and namaste.